uploading a video where scammers got caught. And then when I updo the uploads and it does that, they alter the video when people get caught in crimes. So I don't know how to combat this level of corruption. What uh, concerns were you wanting to address? And what was your name again? Uh, Lieutenant Crawford, C-R-A-W-F-O-R-D. Okay, and your badge number? Uh, Lincoln 8, L-8. Okay. So what, what concerns were you wanting me to address? Uh, were you wanting to help me address? Well, you, you, you called us, Miss Clark, so I, it's up to you what you want to tell me what your concerns are. I'm just calling you back. Okay, well, I'm trying to flee an abusive situation, and it's been impossible for me to get a remedy for years. And it's a lot of torture, oppression, intimidation, and doing that in this conspiracy is a felony charge that people have yet to get. So I don't know what direction I asked your um, dispatch about stalking and how I can protect myself against stalking and what is the charge for stalking? Um, is that a misdemeanor? And what? how do we obtain evidence to get something done with me being gang stalked and repeatedly violated? So yeah, as a police well, officer... Stalking is a felony, and then obviously evidence can include anything from video, pictures, written, written evidence, anything along those things are super uh, valuable type stuff. Well, can I give you my YouTube channel and see if you can obtain any evidence on that? I'm sorry, evidence on what? I didn't hear you. My YouTube channel to give, see if there's enough evidence on that so I can uh, finally get something here, done. What is your YouTube channel? It's Kiana, K-E-Y-A-N-A, mm -hmm. Clark, C okay. Yeah, I'll take a look at it and see if there's anything on there that we can use for that. Um, so one of the things, I, I don't know if you remember me or not, Miss Clark, you and I have spoken in the past before. Uh, I helped arrange you uh, getting shelter at the Salvation Army one night. So I'm a little bit familiar of your situation and, and what you reported. Are you under currently experiencing any new abuse or anything since we last spoke? Well, the Salvation Army had me leave in only five days, and I was the only one leaving, and other people were on programs, and they deprived me of a program and then lied about their domestic abuse program. Then I oh. set up an appointment with Jessica. She had me come at 9. Then at 9, when I came at 9, I waited in the heat till 9. Then she said 11. I waited in the heat till 11. Then she said 2. And then at 2, she lied about all the services for Salvation Army, gave me crooked locations in Dallas, and told me to leave. Well, I can't I can't speak on behalf of Salvation Army. They're their own business, and they're allowed to Well, here's the thing. If people are operate, scamming to keep me from services, thing. that's a crime. That, what, that is what, criminal for places that leave me in abuse and scheme to keep me from services. Why would the police department deny investigation for that? Well, it's, it's not a crime for them to... Conspiracy to violate rights is a felony them. crime. If you can't, no. you can't just make up rules for one party on a whim to keep them from services. Doing that in a conspiracy is a felony charge. That you're not, you're not, incorrect. It, they have no not, right to set up brand not, new rules for me that no one else has. And then not the a police criminal charge for them to, to uh, not offer you their services. Now, here's what I have done for you, Miss Clark, because I uh, obviously want to come from a place of concern about the abuse that you keep reporting. Uh, I reached out to the Denton County Friends of the Family, and I did what's called a law enforcement referral. And I spoke with a very nice lady, and I gave her your name and your phone number, and they will be able to best assist you, including being an advocate for you on, on getting the, the services and the legal legal stuff that you might need to get done on on that advocacy um i've reached out to them and done a law enforcement referral so they are going to contact you they said within the next hour to figure out how they can assist you with your situation including if that includes like i said shelter advocacy legal services things along those lines counseling all that stuff is things that the Denton County Friends of Family can offer. Well, here's the thing. They've already lied and schemed, blatantly lied on me multiple different times and oppressed me with their lies to make me think I was getting put out. And then when I was there, they put all my services on hold and only offered me dental and um, glasses and a birth certificate. Then I, well, I, I'm not being heard. I'm reporting crimes repeatedly to the police department and the police department just seems to repeatedly cover for it. So, I, I mean, if they're going to give me services, but I'm showing a history and a pattern and tampering with evidence is a felony. So why would they, when I was there at a domestic violence organization, would they only offer me dental, vision, and birth certificate and put all the other help to help me flee abuse on hold and then start arguments in the process of them doing it? 
Well, like an army full of others. Mark, I work for the University of Texas Police Department. There's nothing that we okay, can do. Okay, well, I'm glad you did a law enforcement for referral because that haven't, haven't, hasn't happened in all these years. Police Department well, was pretending I, like that I, it was impossible, and you pretended like it was impossible that night when you took me to Salvation Army that okay, are now well, lying and scheming to keep me from services. Uh, Miss Clark, I'm not going to keep going back and forth. With I don't you know why I keep getting gaslight. Like that's that's a form of psychological abuse. Um, that's that a form of psychological case. abuse, sir, and narcissistic oh, to I'm repeatedly sorry, experience so that's that. That's all we're going to offer you, Miss Clark, is, is that we can't assist you since you're not affiliated with the University of Texas Police Department on any type of law Well, enforcement. you did assist me, and you had said that someone with friends of the family would be in contact me with me within an hour? Within the hour, Ms. Clark, you can either contact if you need to report an incident to the Denton Police Department, and then what we did as a courtesy, because we, we do care about people, is that we did contact the Well, you didn't care about me when you were trying to put me out the police department trying to flee on my phone, and then deprive uh, me of the right to use the bathroom. Ms. Clark, uh, there's nothing else I can really offer you. Maybe it's something the feds can offer, because this is criminal. Okay, I don't have any choices. Do you have any other questions for me, Ms. I don't Clark? Have it. I don't have enough power to interrupt it. I've been trying two years. Okay, okay, sir. Well, I think I think at this point, uh, like I said, hopefully then County Friends family can help you. I don't know. I don't know. They didn't help me when I was there and kept scheming any way they could to get me put off property. So we'll see how this goes. If you'd like, I also have the non-emergency number for you to call the Denton Police Department. If you'd I've like already to been there, and they, they lied, too, and wouldn't help. And then said that okay. they were going to take a report and walked off tampered with evidence and never came back to not do the report. Like I said, I can't stop it. I'm going to have to take someone more powerful powerful than me to interrupt this pattern. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's going on with the Denton Police Department. I can't speak on their behalf. Well, you, you have a YouTube want... channel. Didn't I give it to you last time? Pardon? I thought you were required to do with tampering with evidence was a felony. I thought I gave it to you last time and all the information. And no, after all this time, no investigation I mean, was done? Clark. Ms. Clark, do you want the phone number for the Denton I Police thought I just gave you the, phone, the YouTube channel. If I'm giving law enforcement evidence in tampering with evidence a felony? is denying someone law enforcement and corruption criminal. So if I gave you the YouTube channel with all the evidence, what are you going to do with it? And if not doing anything with it year after year is criminal, when are people going to be get accountability? So I gave you my YouTube channel. We've already talked. You tried to put me out when I was trying to flee on my phone. What is being done with the, your law enforcement skills? What are you doing? So you set up uh, uh, help for me to get help with friends of the family. And I told you that they're already crooked and scammed multiple different ways to get me put out on blatant lies. Then got mad when I tried to, you know, expose their corruption and criminal activity. You know, work service at... I'm sorry? I'm, I'm listening to you, Ms. Clark. I'm letting you talk. So they said that they were going to help me and give me a call in an hour? Within an hour? Within an hour, yes, ma'am. Okay, so as for law enforcement, I just can't get it, period. If you need to report something, you need to report to the Denton Police Department, Ms. Clark. I've already did, and like I told you, I tried to do the report, and they never came back. They both left. Well, you'll have to take that up to the Denton Police Department, because the UNC, University of Texas PD cannot assist you. Well, why didn't you let me use the bathroom if you knew I was fleeing abuse? Because we wanted to try to help you. I can't speak on the person who let you use the restroom, but I can only you, you, they, trying you, to be... I'm talking speaking of you not letting me use the bathroom. At that time, you didn't. We don't let it was night shift. We don't let people in our secured area. We don't. I when I it was some woman fleeing abuse, and then I had already used it the other time when friends of the family played games and held me up to all real late hours when I had been there all that time waiting on them. I used it that whole night. Mm -hmm. I Clark, just, do you have anything you need to report to the I don't here? know. I just haven't been able to get law enforcement. I've already reported things to you, and it went nowhere. And I thought tampering with evidence was a felony. I keep repeating that. Okay. But I well, just keep getting well, held well, up in this hamster wheel. So there's, no, there's no evidence that you would have presented to us. Ms. Clark, there's no deal. evidence on my YouTube channel that I presented to you guys? Hidden uh, runs? I've never been to your YouTube channel, so I don't. I didn't even know until you told me today you had a YouTube channel. I thought so. we already discussed this, and then in addition, hidden runs, and multiple uh, different know, businesses nope. scheming to get me put out of them, blatant lies uh, all over the place, taking my children, and crimes committed, a stolen food stamp, my cards canceled without my permission, threatened multiple different times a day. If you don't have anything else to report to identity theft, identity theft. I'm doing the report now. I'm reporting now, and you have to let me go during the report. 
21 well, false arrest crimes to keep me from going to court um, um, while I'm in there on false charges and um, and when I'm being detained for mental illness on false pretenses. None of that is worth being investigated. No evidence, period. The state picking up, um, um, trying to force me to take problematic medications and corruption, stolen property year after year, robbed, pickpocketing. None of that is it deemed worth, um, um, investigation worthy. None of that. Ma'am, if it's not related to the University of Texas BDA. I thought you just said that there was nothing that you could investigate. There's nothing related to the University of Texas Police Department been reported. It's all related to off campus. Well, what was I? What if I wanted to report you trying to put me out, trying to flee on my phone? Is that misconduct? Know what exactly you're talking about with the fleeing, but I, I was trying to flee of abuse after I got put out in the scheme from Denton County friends and family, as I have been multiple different some places put me out gone. That's how I knew it was a scheme. I was gone in my car reporting my abuser, and then they came back at, back came back to the location, and my stuff was set outside on the box uh, on the uh, outside of the property, and I was not let in the gate, and they have no explanation on why they did it. Miss Clark, we can keep going back and forth. I don't, I don't can't stop not getting law enforcement. I can't stop you guys. So you're right. It's going to. I mean, you are refusing law enforcement, racking up felonies with no consequences. You're right. We can keep going back and forth on this hamster wheel like we've done years and get nowhere. That's a choice because you're not going to do law enforcement until you're held accountable. Okay. Thank you. You're right. It's pointless.